a lot of people think about this as picking a bar up off the floor. But really what we're basically going to do is earth push downs because we're going to basically change the way you think about it. So the big thing we're going to look at, one, we have a barbell, we have some weights. Two things are going to be really important for all the, all the different uh, variations that we're going to do. The first is tension. Okay, so we're going to try to create as much tension as possible on the bar and then in the body itself, right? So when we look at the demand of the nervous system, the deadlift has the highest because of how much tension we have to create, all right? So for the conventional, what you're going to do is put the bar right over the middle of your foot, all right? So it's pretty close to your shins. Then I need you to get into spinal neutral, right? So you squeeze the butt forward. We're going to bring the ribs down and lock everything down and try to make this as tight as possible. From there, there's a couple different ways. You can reach your arms straight down if you want. You just got to change the angle. If you want to also do it this way, you can reach forward. All right. Now, the nice thing here is that grip tends to be you can grab a bar with straight hands here. I don't suggest going the other way because we talked about lengthening out the bicep tendon. It can kind of jack up both of them. So you can go mixed grip. Okay. So. You can either reach forward. I like this version because if you lock everything in here, we're going to create some length in your lats by reaching forward. And then you're going to sit your hips back and basically try to keep everything here as locked in as possible. So we're going to reach and we're going to sink. And now all of a sudden you see the hands come forward. And then we can just change it a little bit to reach the bar. All right? Now notice what happened to the bar. It's over the center of my foot. That space closes. So it's almost going to be right up against the shins. Mm -hmm. So everything gets locked in, we reach back, and then here's what I want you to hear, right? So if you're quiet enough, you can hear it. There's a little clicking noise. So what you're going to do is try to bring those shoulders back. And so we create tension in those lats. That's going to help us stabilize mm -hmm. that lower back. And so you're going to create tension in your lats, and you're going to try to push the floor away, and your knees are just going to kind of slowly come out away from the bar and then it's going to basically ride up your thighs. So we're here, we create tension, we pull, and we squeeze our butt forward. If we think about pulling the bar off the floor, you're going to see one thing happen, right? You're going to see pull the bar off the floor, and you're going to see this, and then finishing here, okay? This is where people have a hard time with the deadlift. Our goal is basically whatever position we have the spine starting in, we want to finish in that position. So if I got here, and I can literally do this, the spine never moved, back is fine. All right, what we see issues with is when people do this, and they roll the spine. So if any of you sit there and you've done deadlifts with your team and all of a sudden your back's blowing up at the end of the workout, you're like, man, like, you go home, you literally lay in bed and you're like, I feel like my back is on fire. There's a problem. 99% of the time, that's your problem, right? So, the first thing we'll start with is I want you to practice that sequence. One, get it close, so over the middle of your foot. Create tension, keep everything in neutral. You can either go down and then just change as you come down. But I want you to practice one we call taking the slack out of the bar. That's that little clicking. All right, so we reach, slack comes out. You can kind of sit back a little bit if that helps you. Sit back, drive the floor away, and squeeze your butt forward. Back stays flat the whole time. You set it back down. Tension, pull. Doesn't matter which hand you have going forward. If, and I'm going to show you this in this part so you can see my hand. If you want to go double over, there's a way that you can hold on to the bar, and we'll talk about it more when we talk about Olympic lifts. But if you stick your hand in the bar, you can put a thumb on it, okay. and you wrap your fingers over your thumb. That bar is now locked to my hand. Mm -hmm. Okay? So if we pick up that bar, it's the same thing. But you can reach, get everything set, hips back, grab over your thumbs, tension, pull. Okay? So 
sometimes you don't always have thumbs that'll go all the way around that you can grab. <laughs> all right, those are your two different ways to grip it. Those are the things we want to see. Now, we're not going to go heavy on this because we're going to take a lot of reps. What I want you to do, because we have one, two, three, four bars that are out here. You have a fifth one in that stand? No. Okay. So we got four bars that are available, five bars. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so four bars that are available. You're going to work in groups, but here's the thing. Somebody stand to the side, so fill up for me real quick. Just stand there, right? So get a person that can stand to the side and watch you to make sure they see everything right. Stacking the spine up, sinking the hips back. Somebody might want to stand back at 45 degrees, and you can literally have somebody stand at the other side just to make sure that we can see, right? Because here's the thing. There's a lot of you. The best way to learn is to teach. So if he goes to do a deadlift, all right, and just pretend like you're going to pull it off the floor, right? We start to cue him up. You can start to look. Like, oh, hey, close to your shins. Right? Close to your shins. All right, shoulders back. Yep, tight. All right, let's tuck your chin a little bit so you get spinal neutral. There we go. Oh, like right there. Okay? Now let's actually do a rep, right? Pull it off the ground. Yeah, that was pretty good. Right? Everybody see what happens when you put it down? Yeah. Let's try to set it down in the same pattern. Mm -hmm. All right? So, I picked these weights just because I wanted to hear the clicking. We can obviously do this with lighter. This just made the most audible clicking. So we can really put 10 pound weights and 25 pound weights on it. Not a big deal. Not looking for max weight on this because we got two more variations to do after this. I want three to four sets of five reps. So partner up, be able to work with a group that can sit there and look at those different things. Because I only have two eyes and there's like 20 of you. So being able to look at every single rep, Partner up, let's go for it.